In the heart of Jerusalem, a city revered by countless believers as the epicenter of their faith, there exists a legendary place, the Well of Souls. This well, shrouded in mystique and mythology, holds the key to understanding the conflict between Israel and Palestine in an entirely different light, one deeply steeped in spirituality. Long ago, in the hallowed halls of the old city, the Well of Souls became the spiritual nexus where the divine and the earthly realms intertwined. It wasn't just a well, but a gateway to the heavens, a place where the whispers of angels and prophets danced in the echoes of the stones. The Well of Souls in Jerusalem is a fascinating and historically significant site with deep religious connections, particularly in relation to the city's rich Jewish, Christian and Islamic heritage. While there are many legends and beliefs surrounding the well, there is no single universally accepted historical account, and some aspects remain shrouded in mystery. The Well of Souls is also sometimes referred to as the Foundation Stone, or Sakra in Islamic tradition, and the Evan Hashatiya in Jewish tradition. Here's a historical overview of the site. The Well of Souls is located in the heart of the old city of Jerusalem, within the Haram al-Sharif, or the Noble Sanctuary which is known as the Temple Mount in Jewish tradition. It is the holiest site in Judaism, the third holiest in Islam after Mecca and Medina, and also of great significance in Christianity. In Jewish tradition, the Well of Souls is believed to be the site where the Holy of Holies of the first and second Jewish temples once stood. The Foundation Stone, located in the center of the Temple Mount, is thought to be the very spot where the Ark of the Covenant was placed. According to some legends, this stone is said to be the entryway to the Garden of Eden. Jewish access to the Temple Mount is currently limited and highly regulated due to political and religious sensitivities. In Islamic tradition, the foundation stone, known as the Sakra, is believed to be the location from which the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven during the night journey, the Isra and Miraj. The Dome of the Rock, a stunning Islamic shrine, was built over the foundation stone to commemorate this event. In Christian tradition, the Temple Mount is associated with events in the life of Jesus, including his visits to the Second Temple. The nearby Church of the Holy Sepulchre is considered the holiest Christian site in Jerusalem, as it is traditionally believed to be the place of Jesus' crucifixion and burial. Over the centuries, the Temple Mount has been the site of numerous conflicts, destruction and reconstructions. It has been under the control of various empires and entities, including the Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, Islamic Caliphates, Crusader Kingdom, and the various Muslim and Ottoman rulers. Today, the Temple Mount remains a focal point of tension and controversy in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Access and control of the site are complex, and remain a sensitive issue. The Israeli government controls security on the Temple Mount, while the Jordanian Waqf administers the religious aspects of the site. According to Jewish mysticism and folklore, the Well of Souls is believed to be a direct link to the Garden of Eden. It is said that when God created the world, he formed the first human, Adam, from the dust of the earth. In the Garden of Eden, Adam was given a direct line of communication with God experiencing a state of spiritual purity and closeness to the divine. However, when Adam and Eve partook of the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they were banished from the Garden of Eden. This act severed the direct connection between humanity and the divine, marking the introduction of sin and spiritual distance from God. The legend of the Well of Souls suggests that the very stone upon which the Ark of the Covenant, a sacred chest said to have held the tablets of the Ten Commandments, rested in the Holy of Holies of the temples in Jerusalem, is a direct link to the lost paradise of Eden. Some Jewish traditions even maintain that the entryway to the Garden of Eden lies beneath the foundation stone. It is believed that those who stand by its edge can catch a fleeting glimpse of the pristine garden a paradise lost to humanity. While this legend is not a part of traditional Jewish religious texts like the Torah, it has been passed down through folklore and mystical traditions. In the 7th century, in the city of Mecca, a humble and pious man named Muhammad was about to embark on a journey that would take him far beyond the confines of his world. 
Little did he know that he was destined for an experience that would shape the future of Islam and leave a profound mark on Jerusalem's history. One fateful night, Muhammad lay in the sacred precincts of the Kaaba, the black cube at the heart of Mecca, deep in meditation. Suddenly, the angel Gabriel appeared before him. With immense gentleness, he offered Muhammad a magnificent steed, unlike any seen before, named Burak. Burak was dazzling, a creature of celestial beauty. The angel accompanied by Muhammad mounted Burak. In the blink of an eye, they were carried through the heavens, journeying toward the horizon. The night sky opened before them, revealing an expanse of stars, and they ascended further and further until they reached the blessed city of Jerusalem. In the twinkle of an eye, Muhammad and Burak touched down in the sacred city of Jerusalem. The Well of Souls, the Sakra, lay before them, a place of tremendous spiritual significance. It was at this very spot that the Prophet Muhammad dismounted Burak. With the Sakra as their stepping stone, Muhammad embarked on a celestial voyage, guided by the angel Gabriel. He ascended through the heavens, encountering a succession of divine revelations and celestial wonders. Muhammad met the great prophets who had come before him, including Abraham, Moses and Jesus, and he was greeted by the divine spirits in the celestial realms. Finally, Muhammad approached the ultimate source of all light and knowledge, the divine presence of Allah. In a moment of deep spiritual communion, he received divine guidance and wisdom, including the commandment for Muslims to pray for five times a day. After this remarkable journey, Muhammad returned to Mecca where he recounted his miraculous night journey to his followers. The Isra and the Mirage, as it came to be known, became a pivotal moment in Islamic history, solidifying the importance of Jerusalem in the faith. Today, the Dome of the Rock, which houses the Well of Souls, is a powerful symbol of this celestial journey. Muslims from around the world gather to pray at this sacred site, and the legend of Muhammad's night journey lives on as a testament to the profound connection between the earthly and the divine in the heart of Jerusalem. The people of this land, both Israeli and Palestinian, saw the Well of Souls as the heart of their faith, a symbol of their identity, as guardians of their own spiritual legacy. Each side believed they held the key to the sacred well, fiercely defending their right to access and protect it. In this mythological saga, the rivalry for control over the Well of Souls resembled an age-old battle of spiritual warriors. The guardians of the well, their hearts aflame with divine purpose, stood their ground, refusing to yield. They fought not just for territory, but for their spiritual birthright. In the scrolls of ancient prophecy, the return to the Temple Mount held a place of prominence the prophecies foretold of a day when the sacred temple would rise once more. For some, it was merely a land of dispute. Amidst this spiritual epic, the search for common ground took center stage. Why souls from both sides recognized the profundity of their shared spiritual bond to the well of souls. They understood that understanding and respecting each other's spiritual yearnings were vital steps toward resolving the conflict. And so, the Well of Souls, with its mythological aura, stood as a silent but profound testament to the power of spirituality of the human. It was a reminder that amidst the earthly battles, there existed a shared spiritual tapestry, a connection that could one day transcend borders and bring peace to this land of legends.